Well, we didn't know what was going on until Chuck started hollering, talking about this is a, uh, there's a girl claiming Amanda Berry and everything. So when he did, she, she, she wanted to get out. She said, please let me out. So when he ripped the bottom of the door out, the baby came out and she came out and everybody just broke out. By the time I got across that field right there, Amanda Berry was coming out. She looked real, you know what I'm saying, skinny and everything, but she came out holding the baby. And she said, there's, there's, there's more girls up in there. So as soon as she said that, he, Chuck told me, well, let's go in and get him. I, let's call the police, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't know what he, so he said, well, I'm going to go get him. I said, well, you go get him. And, and we're going to wait for this man to come around the corner. So by the time that the cops come here, Chuck was almost on the way back in there to go get the other girls. My niece is sitting on the porch over here. She, seen, uh, she, she sees them in the backyard with some girls that are naked. Girls are naked? My mom calls them. The old people that live in that building up there, they got a perfect view of, of his backyard. They reported and reported that there's th three guys in the backyard with girls, butt naked girls, uh, um, like uh, doing bodily harm to them. What the cops do, they'll come by, look, you know what I'm saying? And they keep on going. This, this could have been prevented like two years ago. It's just kind of strange that you see a little girl out of the attic window looking out when he gets home from his uh, school bus pickup or drop off and the little girl's out there looking out, but yet when he leaves, everything gets all locked up. That's the only window that gets opened in the house, is the attic window.